so I didn't want to do a lot of these, but I feel like now would be the time to do a vlog like this. Hi guys, this is Connie. It's 8.30 on Sunday night. Um, it's the last day of April. It's like April 30th. And by this time next week, we are going to have a baby. Baby Bear Tryon will be here. And I'm excited, but another part of me kind of wants to do, I don't know, it feels arrogant now that I'm putting it on, on camera. And I'm constantly being distracted because something I've been trying to do in the last week between like leadership obligations and such is to actually um, get in touch with some people and reach out because things can get lost in the shuffle so quickly. And uh, um, having hard times finishing sentences because pregnancy brain is a thing. But, uh, and, and so I didn't want to lose touch with a lot of people and didn't know how much of this I actually wanted to put out there for the world to see but um, if I do end up posting this on my YouTube channel it's gonna be this is why I never finished reading this book or that book right now because I'm getting ready to um, have an entire life shift in being a practicing mom and uh, I'm excited I'm nervous and a part of me, as pompous as it sounds, feels a lot of things that I hadn't been feeling as far as my body preparing for the impending storm that is labor and delivery. And um, I, I don't know if it's just little precursors to it or what it's going to mean, but I can't help but shake the feeling that we might just be having a baby or at least have the beginning of the end when it comes to this. Uh, in the next 24 hours, like I've been feeling, Bear has been kicking big time, running out of space, and I've been feeling for, I, I will call it a, a twinkle in my pelvis because there's no good way to explain how you feel when suddenly you feel like you get this something different other than the fact that you needed to pee every 15 minutes for the last several months. You know you're so close to having a baby, but babies are going to show up when babies want to show up. And I've been doing so many different things and getting so many different suggestions for p encouraging labor along. And I go back and forth because there are some things that we just haven't gotten done yet. I haven't gotten the thank you cards yet. All I see is this shiny green spot in the back from a light that's in their front yard. Distractions. Um, one of the biggest things I wanted to get done with was um, get the thank you cards from the shower from our, our party, Bring on the Bear Party, uh, which was like a combined total of, you know, gender various. We had guys, girls, co-ed, baby shower, essentially. And uh, the nice thing about having to send out thank you cards is that I've had to purposely update a lot of addresses. So the nice thing about this is I found, I went and I bought an address book at the dollar store so that I could write down these addresses as we go along um, because we're hoping at some point to send out announcements and say congratulations it's a baby and it's here and um and then that i feel like that will immediately update like a christmas card list so i'm very excited about that very excited about a lot of things also the fact that we've just slacked it's 8 30 at night this is the first time i've left the house all day so as far as gaming goes my augmented reality games aka pokemon go and Ingress, I now get to go do check-ins. I ran out of stamps. Actually, that's not accurate. It's not that I ran out of stamps, it's that I buy plenty of stamps and then I proceed to lose the pile of stamps I have, which is incredibly annoying. I need to find one place in the house where we can keep stamps and they stay there. If I find any new ones or if I buy any new ones, they go in the one place for stamps and then when I need them, I know exactly where to pick them up. It makes me 
makes me sad because I have some really pretty stamps and I just cannot find where they went. I'm starting to wonder if it's with my sticker collection downstairs in the craft room. It could be, but probably not. <sighs> so five minutes of me saying, I really have a feeling. I have, I was telling Sam, I said, I said to quote some random famous movie, I've got a bad feeling about this. And it's not so much a bad feeling as in, a, as in, it's a feeling and I'm not ready because the one thing I want to get done is like, I feel confident enough that we could throw the, get, throw together the rest of the, throw together the rest, blah, 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 words and phrases and things. I'm confident in what we have packed already for the hospital that the two or three things that we need to throw in there, I can throw in there in, in with the quickness. It's the thank you cards. I really want to get the thank you cards done and put out in the mail by the end of the night so that when we go to sleep, if I wake up and baby is starting to move and groove to the point of water breaking and contractions, we are ready to go. And I feel like that one thing doesn't get lost in the shuffle because losing people in the shuffle has been the new thing that's happened in the last few weeks. And I'm tired of doing that. I'm tired of, I'm very appreciative of how gracious everybody's been about, well, you're pregnant. You've been, you're, you're expecting a baby any day now. And this is only Sunday night. If Bear does not make an appearance by Thursday morning, we are getting induced. Um, because I've had concerns for myself. This is my second pregnancy, first one to term, and my body gave me no notification that I had lost a baby button during that, that whole season. I'd lost it past the 12 weeks mark. I'm just thanking God that I was at us. We were at, we were supposed to be at 17 weeks and we were at 15 and a half based on buttons development. And I was still able to do a DNC procedure because at that point I was so much in shock and so much I, I, I was in shock by the loss so severely that all I wanted to do was just go to sleep and let it be over and to start slowly healing from it or healing from it as quickly as possible as uh, that there was nothing slow about that I didn't like the idea of giving of potentially being put into labor for three or four days to have no child to come home to so that was the decision that I made and I don't have too many regrets about it. I, uh, every experience is different in pregnancy and that was an experience. It was a very short lived experience and this one feels like it's been forever because I've been waiting for this baby since the strip said we were having a baby. So I've been waiting since August. For this for this baby to arrive i'm very excited that's going to happen soon it's not going to happen when i want it to i know it i just know this bear bear is going to show up in the middle of the night because this child is mustachio's child and mustachio is a night owl and i'm not so yeah so the only things that i'm doing outside of the house is i think i'm going to treat myself to a starbucks I'm going to go get stamps so I can finish the rest of those stupid thank you cards at this point. So I just keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. And then I'm going to, uh, that's a weird thing for that car to do. And then I'm going to do my games. I'm going to come home. We're going to finish those thank you cards. We're going to send them out in the mail. The hospital bag is going to be made. And then I'm going to attempt to get some sleep because I can't help but shake the feeling. The more I have those twinkles, the more I feel like we may not make it to Thursday. Bear might decide to show up soon. I don't even want to get started on the fact that I did the math and that this baby is probably over eight pounds and that scares me to think that I'm gonna be able to shove an eight pound plus baby out of my pelvis area. I got pretty pretty good hips and I'm sure it can be done. I it will be done. I have no doubt. Cuz I really don't want to get a C-section. Again, I'm starting to I'm starting to jump into the rabbit hole of all the possibilities that come with labor and delivery. And this video is already 4 to 5 minutes longer than I anticipated it to be. 
So be careful with that and enjoy, please and thank you. And I will talk to you later. Bye.